Buying a trailer built cabin cruiser can be a very tricky decision, at least in my opinion. The reason for that is the goal is, is to get the maximum amount of usable boat and something that's still comfortable for you to tow. And that's key. So next for you, we'd like to show you the Cutwater 28. Before we do that though, I'd like to just talk about a few of the specifications, the basic ones. First of all, I'll point out to you the length overall, 32 feet and four inches. This is really interesting to note because the trend right now is to outboard motors with a lot of boats. This adds a lot of length overall to a boat. So even though this boat is 28 feet, most of which is usable space, the overall length is only 32. If you look at the Cutwater 24, that one is over 31 feet. Other things to note, fuel capacity 100 gallons. I can tell you that uh, cruising along at the speeds that we do, trawler speed, eight knots, that gives you considerable range. This right here you want to pay close attention to. The dry weight of this boat is 8,000 pounds. And by the time you combine a three axle trailer, which I highly recommend, and your fluids and gear and everything, you're really going to need a sub substantial truck to tow this. Some of the options uh, that the factory will deliver to you, sunshade, I know they'll do canvas, um, triple axle trailer with hydraulic, electric hydraulic brakes, as opposed to a two axle trailer. I would highly recommend that. Dinghy, their dinghy is great by the way. We did not go with the Yamaha gasoline engine. We went with an e-propulsion electric motor, which we're going to review for you in a separate review. Um, their factory delivery experience, they offer that with all of their boats. Cutwater, you can go to them direct. They will take you out, spend time with your boat, get you familiar with it, load it on the trailer, and send you packing. Um, low speed module, essentially, there's quite a few of options. We're not going to go through them all. They also have different packages, an East Coast package, where they feel you're going to be more in warm weather. So you have a generator, a um, heat and air with a reversible pump. Out here in the Northwest, their Northwest package has a diesel furnace, which I can tell you is fantastic. We've actually been on the boat when it's 16 degrees out, and it was barely working to keep us warm. So I hope you'll stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and head out to the boat show right now and show you the boat. So we're here at the Portland 2020 boat show and we're going to be looking at the Cutwater 28 brought to you by Sundance Yachts located in Jensen Beach. I want to step out of the way. Just take a look at this boat. That is a beautiful profile of a 28 foot boat. That is about as big as you can really comfortably go and trailer long distances. We know we have one. The nice thing about this boat is it still stays at the beam of 8.6 feet. So you don't have any special towing considerations. So we're just going to go ahead and move in here closer and we'll take a few a look at some of the things I'd like to show you. First of all, the Cutwater 28 comes with both bow and stern thrust. So here's your bow thruster here. And since this is an inboard engine, bow and stern thrust really help with maneuverability. Moving back. Some of the things I like to point out. First of all, is there two-step or two-stage uh, hull? The bow of it, and of course, look, there's lots of chines. Chines are good. Chines help get you up on plane. This is a semi-displacement hull. We've actually had ours up to about uh, 30 knots. And um, although we like cruising at a slower speed, but this will get you up on plane. And then notice how it tapers off back here, still having chines for lift. But this taper back here makes the boat turn nicer. Down below, you'll see that the boat does have a full keel. This is really handy for low speed maneuvering. The boat tracks like it's on a rail even when you don't have the prop turning. And even more importantly, is that keel provides you protection for that bronze prop back there, which you really want to keep safe. Okay, from this angle of the boat, I'd just like to point out, it's easier to see from here, 
up above you see that nice railing on top of the hard top that goes around very handy for attaching things like kayak racks or other gear i've actually seen a boat with a small lift on it that they use to bring their kayaks up and down you can also see that it has a um, tracking antenna if you want for your tv a mast and you can even see your radar or, or your radar up there other things of note and i will show this in the back too but the boat does come with built-in trailer lights so when the boat is on the trailer it actually plugs into your trailer and offers both side marker lights which you have up here and lighting on the back which are full functioning trailer lights which show braking flashers and indicators it's really nice having that up higher rather than just down below the boat it draws additional attention to the boat especially at night okay from down under the swim platform in an inadvisable place to be when the boat's underwater or in the water i'd just like to show you that here is your stern thrust which is very effective you've got a very nice sized rudder again it makes the boat very maneuverable at low speeds and of course at higher speeds you don't need as much rudder but very maneuverable at low speeds. Okay, when you're boarding the boat from the water, this is a very nice feature for those of you that you have done it many times. This has a four rung ladder down. I'm five feet 11. When I'm in the water, there is no lifting of my legs or struggle to get on this ladder. I just put my ladder on the bottom and come right in. It's very nice for access. Okay, standing at the front of the boat, a couple things I'd like to point out. First of all, it does have a nice deep uh, anchor locker. We'll talk about that later, but here's the drain for it. Look at this nice stainless steel protection here, guard for your anchor. It comes standard with this um, anchoring claw. And um, I can tell you that so far we have never had it give way. And that is a very secure feeling. Up above out of my reach, is the bow pulpit and for people that live in areas that are fortunate enough to have nice sandy beaches again there's a ladder in the bow pulpit that will come down four rungs which will get you down to the surface when you're up on the beach last thing i'll mention is the dock lighting and i can say that um, that has proven to be very effective when we've gone into docks at night Standing from back here, I just want to point out a couple of things. First of all, if we'll go up to the top of the boat. Again, we've talked about it down below. There's, you've got your mast up there for your TV track vision, your Garmin radar. Down below is a solar panel, which um, I believe can charge up to six amps. But um, I'll check that when we review it in the studio. That mast does fold for trailering. It just lays right over. So mere matter of pulling out two pins and you're ready to go so I'll step onto the boat here and again the first thing I'd like to point out is this nice solid sturdy and high railing on the back there is a chain to seal this off and down below if you have a dinghy or if you're sterned in to a dock you've got these nice built-in fenders They're very well thought out everywhere you look here's another feature this seat is reversible. Right now it's in the rear facing position, but simply by unlocking it, you can reverse it and now it faces inward for your table. Down below, we have storage. Come around to the other side here. All right. Normally, if you were out on the water, there's two propane bottles that sit in there for your oven and your stove. And this is a handy little area right here for your two and a half gallon gas can for your dinghy, if you have one. You board the boat through this nice transom door here, which secures out of the way. So come on in and take a look at this beautiful cockpit. First thing you notice is the size of the cockpit. 
there's plenty of room in here. Also the depth. I'm really big about having a nice deep cockpit for safety. Smaller boats tend to roll and I really don't roll over the side. Here's another nice feature. Okay, so when you're out and about, you might want to have these out of the way. But when you're visiting on either side of the cockpit, these handy seats come down and allow you more seating. What it does is, of course, allow you to create a sitting area around your table. This table removes, if you like, and stores away in the boat. You have seating over here. This boat has a deck wash. Your diesel, mobile diesel engine is down below this giant hatch here, which is on a hydraulic lift. One of the nice features, and I've used it on our boat, you can have as an option a rear helm. This is great for fishing, if you like. And um, just sometimes when you're sterning a boat in or in docking areas, it's really wonderful to be able to come out and drive the boat from here. The bow thrusters do have a remote that you can move around the boat with. So you can bring your remote bow thrust back here or be standing over on the side or something as you come in and use it. A little sink here, storage down below. Lots of storage down below in the bilge. We're not going to really open those up. We can put some pictures up for you. Before we move in, we'll just show you the last two hatches out here. Um, accessible to get down to, hot water heater, battery charges, batteries, lots of storage on the side, good and deep. The hot water heater's back up there. We don't really need to go pan up that way. But what we did in our boat is um, rubber bins. We found some rubber bins that fit in here nicely, easy to put in and out, and we just drop them down there to hold the articles that we want. Keeps them out of the way of the equipment. Okay, now for just a quick look on the port side hatch. It's not quite as much room. Just as deep. Note that they have the batteries back here. I do like the ability to ba balance your batteries out and shift them around. We had camper canvas put on our boat. So this entire cockpit area is closed in in inclement weather. That makes this a whole nother room. A small little area heater out here, and we've been very comfortable out on Lake Powell for eight days. Another feature here is this nice little fitted Coleman ice chest. And then down below, there's storage down there. In addition, there is a sound shield compartment down there. So if you do go with the generator option, your generator would be accessible down below. And more conveniently, if you want to get into that storage, these two doors or hatches open up here. And you can see here, this would lift up and allow for serviceability to your generator if you choose to have one. Okay, we're standing on the back of the C-28. And in just a moment, we're gonna show you the D4 260 horsepower Volvo Penta engine that powers this C-28. Okay, look at the beautiful engine compartment for this Volvo D4 260 horsepower. Plenty of room to get around and work. I don't plan to work on our engine myself, but for those of you that do, this is a very comfortable engine to get around and work on. Lighting is beautiful about around this boat. Right now, they do have it on. You've got this nice accent lighting. They have this in the interior cockpit. They also have it down the sides. At night, this boat is gorgeous from the water with this water, with this accent lighting turned on. If you need something brighter, up above, you've got your aircraft LED lighting, which provides nice lighting. Before we walk into the cabin of the C-28, I just want to point out the wonderful visibility that you have from the inside of the cabin looking out. These large windows here, this beautiful large door, which by the way, 
is a very sturdy stout door and handle and locking system. Nice dead bolt, good solid lock, and again, another big beautiful window to look out. As you can see, windows all the way around. Very handy to have the boat hook here. Okay, well let's just go ahead and come into this C-28 cabin. I'll move my way forward. Okay, the first thing, of course, as the camera looks around, that you'll notice is the beautiful cherry woodwork that's going to be throughout this cabin. Cherry accenting throughout. Up on the surface, you have a nice textured vinyl that's going to be very good and hold up with weather and resistant to mildew. Lots of port lights or top hatches to let light in and ventilation. I can tell you from experience it does well. Again, beautiful visibility when you're standing inside looking around. It's wonderful to be able to sit at this dinette and have breakfast and look 360 degrees and see whatever you want from any aspect of the boat. I'll just go ahead and point out your entertainment system, which does hook up via Bluetooth. So you're able to play your favorite tunes through your um, tablet or phone. You've got your seat right here that is forward facing when you're under the way. But look at this. This comes up out of the way. This is an amazing galley surface area to work for just a 28 foot boat. I've seen smaller galleys on 30 plus footers. Beautifully sized refrigerator down here. Nice and deep. Separate freezer. Nice and deep refrigerator. We actually have this model and we've packed food for eight days on this. There wasn't room for another grape, but we did it. So when you're out on the water and driving your C-28, I can't think of a better place than from this helm. First of all, you have a beautiful double wide helm if someone wants to join you while you're driving, or in my case, my dog. You have this beautiful, finish, a beautifully finished wood wheel, Full Garmin navigation package, including depth sounder, fish finder, chop, chart plotter, and radar with the ability to overlay. Of course, your Volvo Penta information package and your integrated autopilot. Bow and stern thrust, essential with a boat like this where you have a um, direct drive, bronze prop, and uh, really just doesn't turn without it in reverse. Forward reverse, Trim tabs, cabin heat down here when the engine is on. Very handy little function. This is a handy remote for your bow and stern thrust. As I mentioned before, when you're back at the rear driving station, VHF radio, defrost, and most importantly, again, twin windshield wipers, but these you're able to operate independently. So if you just want to have the helm on, you can, and they do have an intermittent function as well. When it's time to eat on your C-28, this dinette set will do the job. First of all, you've got seating that's wide enough for two adults on each side. You've got um, a very large cherry finished table. This table, by the way, is high and low. So this will drop down in the evening for the kids. I'm five foot 11. I have laid on this bed when it's made up. And I'm quite comfortable. I can have, I can be stretched out without having my head or my feet touch. Very comfortable. When you're underway, by the way, you can tilt this up and lay it down flat. This is a very handy grab point if you're out in rougher water. And it does provide more drink cup holders for those times when you're under rough water as well. When it's time to go to bed in the end of the evening, the C-28 has comfortable accommodations for everyone including down below the dinette area. So when that time arises, you simply make sure that the table is clear, tilt up this entire seating area, and you have step-down access that gets you down to a full-size bed. I'm gonna step out of the way. 
and allow the cameraman to go down there and see it. Also worth mentioning is the nerve center of the boat. Just as you step down into the mid berth, you have your control panel here for all of your 12 volt and um, AC functions, battery selectors for bow thrust, your monitor and control panel for your um, solar panel charging. This does have a solar panel charging unit on top and your diesel furnace controls. When you're preparing food on your C28, this is a nicely appointed large galley. First of all, we already touched on the huge surface area right here for your counter space and food prep. Up here, this is really nice. Our area up here right here has glasses, mugs, and various things. Good storage up here for the things that are more top heavy. You have another rail here to keep them in, in place. Some other things for knickknacks here. You've got this wonderful deep stainless steel sink that's kind of indicative of uh, cut water stainless steel sinks. Storage, four large storage compartments. Now these are just wide open and I like that idea because you're able to go out and put in the types of racks and everything in here that suits your cooking style. So to the left of the sink is an oven, but before I cover that, this nice cutting board that comes with it has rubber feet so that you can move it around to different surfaces. And also when you're using the sink and not using the range, at times we place ours over here. For cooking, You've got a very well appointed range and nicely sized. So you have two burners, large high capacity burners, smaller for things that don't need, require as much heat. You do have a retaining system where you can um, connect it and it will hold your pots and pans in place. And down below an oven that is definitely large enough to do baking. And we have done this ourselves on board. Look at that. Really, you couldn't ask for anything more in a 28 foot boat. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and move down into the forward part of the boat. Down here, you're going to have a breakfast area, which I'm really excited to show you, a full marine head with shower, and an area that can be used for either sleeping or another dinette. We're down in the forward area of the C-28 now. This is being shot from the V-berth area. And let's take a look at this breakfast area. First of all, you have a microwave, and look at this, an incorporated Keurig. This microwave, by the way, does come with a small rotisserie in it, or turntable, very nice. Fitted in and incorporated. And the Keurig, I, mean, I can't think of anything better than getting up in the morning and having a fresh cup of coffee without even having to get out of bed. So also part of the breakfast area is a small sink. You've got nice deep storage in here. You can even put silverware if you want. A couple of wine bottles or whatever, that's where the Baileys goes. Up here, the television set. This TV is really nice. First of all, it does have a DVD built in and it faces the berth area or pops off and swings around and faces out to the dinette up above. Last on this side is a hanging locker, which the cameraman can't get to because of me. But there is a rail in here and it is deep enough and goes back all the way back into here so that you can hang close. Handy and accessible. And down below, another deep storage area that essentially encompasses the entire surface here going back. Lots of storage. So when you open up the head of your C28, this is an amazingly large head. The first time I opened this up, I couldn't believe it full functioning head, two compartments of storage, and actually there is an access panel behind the mirror that we use to put our extra toilet paper. Look at that bowl, that sink bowl. Really beautiful, 110 outlet, port light for access and light and ventilation. And the entire thing is a shower pan. When you close the door, there is a shower curtain that comes across the door to make sure there isn't any leakage. Here you have the V-berth made up as a bed. When the cushions are out, let me just go ahead and show you. 
The bed goes quite a ways up under the bow. I'm five foot 11. I sleep with my head here, feet up under there. Very comfortable for two large adults and a dog. Look at this. Here you see the C28 set up as an entertainment venue. Small little dining area, huge wraparound seating where you can place the cushions and visit. It's really good to have an alternate conversation area if you're out entertaining. You have reading lights which can be directed down or back for more of a lighting effect. Overhead aircraft lighting if you need brightness. And if you're out in the day, you've got four port lights for natural lighting on the sides and ventilation. Overhead, two large hatches, which will let in natural lighting and ventilation. All of them have screens if you're in an area with a lot of bugs. This is really a comfortable boat, built for overnighting and entertaining. We're out on the bow of the C-28, looking towards the stern. A couple things I'd like to point out. First of all, this wonderful light shielding here, so that when you're at the helm and your passenger, it does help keep that light out of your eyes. Looking back again, you have the racking, the stainless steel racking that Cutwater is so well known for, where you can put kayaks, various other things up there, even external waterproof bags. In the middle there, you have your um, solar panel for charging. And of course, behind it, your folding mast with your Garmin radar and your television track vision. Again, that mast does lay down for trailering. Okay, looking forward on the C-28. I've already pointed this out from down below, but again, this nice stainless steel railing. You have um, this that comes up that allows you to go out on the bow pulpit and again down that wonderful four rung ladder. If you're beaching, look at the size of these cleats for anchoring. Really nice to tie off to. And again, a very heavy duty and functional windlass. Over to the side, we have the access to the anchor locker. It's a very large anchor locker. It does incorporate the whole bow area here. I do wish they had a hatch over here, but you can reach back there if necessary. So I hope you enjoyed our features and benefits review of the C-28. I'd like to thank the good folks at Sundance Motor Yachts for letting us look through their boat and show it to you. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure to look at our channel in the future when we actually do an owner's review of the C-28. Thanks again.